Hi Libra, welcome. This is going to be a reading regarding your person's feelings towards you. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. These are general messages and may not resonate with everyone. So if it doesn't resonate with you, feel free to check your other placements, your other signs in your chart see what else comes up for you all right so how does the Libra's person feel about them right now how does Libra's person feel your soulmates and retreat yes this is your soulmate and it's time to disconnect from the world okay some some of you may have other people getting into your relationship trying to get involved getting in your business it's time to disconnect and deal with your relationship in private. <clears throat> we have honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Very, very similar to retreat. It's like maybe some of you are traveling, but we have this whole like disconnecting vibe, like just you and them type of energy. Maybe this is what they want. They want it to be just you and them. Maybe people are getting in your ear and they want you to stop listening to those people or, you know, something like that. I feel, I feel that strongly. But we have engagement, your love life is ascending to, to a high level of commitment. So there you go. It's like, it's like pillow talk. I'm hearing pillow talk. It's when you, you shut out the world, it's just you and your person. And you can actually make things happen when it's just you and them. When you're planning, when you're planning ahead for your relationship, taking your relationship to a higher level. No one on the outside can do that. Okay. I want one more card. I'm going to pick it in a weird way. Okay, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I'm seeing that there could have been something that happened in the past that you guys are working on. You know, working on forgiveness, working on learning from mistakes. And that involves just the two of you and no one else. Okay, so let's see what else comes up. What do we have for Libra? A guide, a mentor, trustworthy ally. We have wave of power, a surge of power, upswinging energy, upswing in energy, um, accelerating movement. So some of you are moving quickly into an engagement or a higher level of commitment here. It's something that could happen very fast. Okay. We have homeland, arrival, a journey ends, establishment and building. This feels like a marriage card, a kind of ten of pentacles card for me, where you've reached a level, you know, you're kind of going upwards. You kind of that this is some this is something that's been built over time. This relationship, this connection. So some of you might be in marriage counseling or couples therapy this month. But again, this does speak of, well, for me, when I see this, it's like someone's getting in someone's ear, you know, someone's trying to get into this relationship and have a say for some of you. How does this person um, feel about Libra? How does this person currently feel about Libra. What are their current feelings? Current feelings towards Libra. What are their current feelings towards Libra? Okay. Currently they're in a, a feeling of loss. Okay. Wow, this is complicated. This is going to take a lot of work. Yes, the Eight of Pentacles is here. You guys have a lot of work to do on this relationship before it gets to that, you know, higher level. I can see that now. Um, but we have the Fool as the outcome. I know I'm jumping straight to the outcome, but I'm trying to look at the positive first. And this is, you know, you guys really having a new beginning, a fresh start in the relationship. 
But right now this person feels like there is a loss, like they've lost something, they're crying over spilt milk at the moment. We have the Four of Cups is what's blocking. So somebody is rejecting an offer here. You could be dealing with an Aries, a uh, Gemini. That's what we have so far. But this person, they want to feel um, more in control of the situation. They are seeing the relationship as somewhat on and off. There is this kind of rebel vibe. I don't know. It's like some you guys some of you could be in the early 20s could be very young um not all of you obviously but i just i feel like that they're viewing this relationship as kind of on and off you know it's on and off it's i feel like they want more of the stable they want more stability but i know it's gonna take work and they know this we have the lovers is how they're seeing you this person does see you as the soulmate that's why the soulmate card is here. They're seeing you as like a twin flame soulmate type connection. Okay. And their fears is the five of wands. This person really wants to avoid drama. They really don't want to deal with um, drama in this connection. They want it to be smooth sailing. They want to work things out. And the thing is, as I said from the beginning, there could be other people getting involved and stirring things up even more. So be careful of anyone who tries to give advice, you know, be careful of their intentions. But I feel like this person is kind of staying stuck, you know. They're kind of staying stuck in like a negative spot when it comes to this connection. They want it to work, but they can't get over something that is somewhat negative. Maybe there's something they can't forgive or having trouble moving on from. Um, we have judgment here. So I feel like this person does want to renew the relationship. Maybe there's a renewal of vows, but um, with the judgment card, there is this new, this calling, this um, rebirth. This is their next move. They really want to work on renewing the relationship. I feel like they want a lot of alone time with you so that they can like really reconnect, restart, you know, start over, start, uh, I'm looking for a whole bunch of words at once. Have a clean slate, okay? We have the nine of pentacles here. There's a lot of abundance. Like this isn't this is a pretty abundant relationship, meaning it can be more than what it is. You know, right now it might be it might be held back by negativity. And it could be so much more if um, you guys can just move forward. And I feel like that's what this person's trying to accomplish. That's what they're working on right now is getting to the full potential of this relationship, leaving all the people who are not in involved in the relationship out of it because they're causing drama. They're stirring up drama. You know, they want that. They want to get more control of the situation so that they can bring it to where they want it to be. Okay, you could be dealing with Aries and... Gemini, as I said before, let's see what else we have. Okay, clarify the emperor, please. Could be a fellow Libra. But this person, they definitely want to get balanced. They want things to be fair. They want to really talk things out and get to the bottom of things. And they want to do that quickly. We have the eight of wands. We do have um, this wave of power card, which means they want to move quickly. Okay. And um, we have the nine of wands here. I feel like they expect the worst. They kind of think negative. You know, they kind of think, you know, this is how it's going to be. And they're like preparing themselves for the worst, even though they want positive change. I feel like this is just a human thing where they're just kind of expecting the worst because it's, Usually, like, the worst things are more possible in this world. So they're kind of just preparing themselves for the worst. But they are trying to be positive about the situation. Why is the Knight of Wands here? Okay. And we have the Five of, of Wands. So there's always this conflict, sometimes on and off. You guys may move really fast in this connection. This could be why it kind of, it can go real bad real quick or real good real quick, you know, for some of you. It could be dealing with a cancer. 
but again it's like it's fast moving it's on and off and i feel like a lot of you are really young some of you are really young watching this there is this young energy where you guys could just fight and fight and fight and fight and then make up and have a good time and then fight again it's like you know it's a soap opera a little bit kind of <laughs> The lovers, why is the lovers here? Okay, we have the eight of cups. We have the lovers again. Strong Gemini energy. We have the five of pentacles. They're kind of seeing you as emotionally distant from them. It's either they feel that you feel rejected by them or they're feeling reject rejected by you. They do have the five of cups so they are experiencing some kind of loss so that's understandable why is the eight of swords here yep they know it's going to be tough to um to to bring this relationship back to where it needs to be they know it's going to be a tough challenge but they see it as doable even like no matter how negative they think they still see that the relationship can improve and will improve. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Again, with a lot of work, this relationship could reach its full potential. But we have the Ace of Wands, so there is there's a lot of potential. There's going to be a lot of action taken here. But this person, they... They kind of want to steal you away from the world. Get the people out of your ear. Get other people out of the relationship. Take control of the situation and move it forward. I feel like that's what they want. They want to take action on that. Are they really going to kind of like take control here? The four of, sorry, the fool. <laughs> The Fool, why is the Fool here? Ah, oh, I love the King of Pentacles and an outcome. This means your person is serious, okay? This means they're serious about what they are doing. They want to shut the world out, you see? They feel like you guys are being cornered. They want to shut other people out of the relationship and have a, a new start with more potential, more seriousness more commitment more stability okay this is why the fools here they want to take this leap towards that so i feel like even if it means cutting off family members you know telling their mom to stay out of it they want to do that because they see the future in this okay if you think i'm, I'm the song that's in my head is mary j blige um we ride okay so if you want to listen to that, maybe there's a message in there. But that's what I'm hearing in my head right now. Um, yeah, I feel like it's just you and they want it to just be you and them. Like ride or die, Bonnie and Clyde type of thing. And everyone needs to get out of you guys' business. Basically, that's the strongest message I'm seeing because I feel like they want to avoid the drama so much. And it's hard for you to hear them when everyone else is talking okay everyone else is getting in your business this could just be this doesn't have to be people for a lot of you it could be circumstances maybe work um, long distance they want to remove any obstacle that's in the way of this relationship you know they want to remove the obstacles okay so we have libra energy could be dealing with a fellow libra we have cancer we have gemini aries let me see what else comes up for this person's feelings towards you okay how are they feeling about libra how are they feeling about libra right now current feelings tell me more about this person's feelings we have the eight of, of pentacles coming up so much i feel like they know the work it's going to take and we have the, the the eight of wands coming up a lot 
and I know that there's a very fast energy toward um, to to do with this relationship. So I feel like they wanna they wanna get this moving quickly. Okay, we have the three of swords. Why is the three of swords here? Three of swords. I feel like I feel like there's um, there's people again like five of wands again. It's like maybe some someone someone is dealing with something where someone tried to sabotage the relationship or like say that they were with your person or with you. Someone was saying they were with you trying to sabotage the relationship. For some of you, I know it's not for everybody that message, but with this five of of swords with the three of swords it looks like some shady business going on um when it comes to the downside of this relationship or something bad that happened <clears throat> for some of you it could have been actual betrayal in the past and they're trying to make things right they're trying to win your trust again or get forgiveness but i do again keep seeing that there's people there's people getting involved like there's drama, there's people getting involved, there's, there's some phony people. Maybe you guys have like close friends who, you know, the closest ones are the ones who are like really trying to, because they have access, you know, they have more access to you guys. So be careful of the people who are closest, you know, who may be like maybe jealous of the relationship, wish they had a relationship like that and want to break you guys up. I just I'm just saying maybe if if this is something you've been seeing or been suspecting it could be very possible but i am seeing that there's people involved there's people and it's causing drama it's causing unnecessary drama you you guys may have enough drama on your own and these people are just adding to it so it's getting in the way of the work that your person's trying to put in to take control of the relationship and make things happen and bring yourselves to a higher level of commitment. Maybe you guys got engaged and someone's jealous because they wish they could get married. I mean, who not? <laughs> There's so many things, so many reasons why um, people would attack a relationship. This is planet Earth we live on, okay? It's It's... It's not always a beautiful fairy tale. People get jealous, you know. How are they viewing Libra? How are they viewing Libra right now? Strength. They may feel like you're dealing with this very well. But they want to get along, you know. They want to get along with you. It's like they want to come forward with this, this, Knight of Cups and be able to really compromise and cooperate and get along and you know make things work really work on the relationship but <clears throat> sorry but um we have this Queen of Swords energy so you, this might be you this is uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius and I feel like they know that you're not just gonna that, that you need real explanations you need real you know action behind words so they know it's not going to be easy but when there's other people also getting involved it's even harder um but they see you as pretty strong and very spiritual and and um intuitive spiritual and intuitive i just feel like they they see you as more intelligent more in, like more intelligent than to listen to people so it's like they know that you're not really listening to what people have to say but they they just feel like it would affect the situation in some way or that you would have in the back of your mind something that someone said and it just doesn't help you know so let me see what else we have for you libra um, what else do we have for Libra? Libra messages. Okay, hold your vision. I'm trying to, oh my god, I'm kicking everything. I'm trying to get comfortable on the chair. Um, 
Have faith in your dreams. The energy is gaining momentum. This connects with the wave of power card, the accelerating movement forward. This connects with all the eight of wands that came out. You know, it's like energy going forward. Like they want to move forward. They want to do this yesterday. Okay. They want to get this going. We have, what do you need to release? So this is a question to you. You know, if there's something from the past holding you back, if you really want to forgive this person, I always say this because I really believe in the, the power of the moon energy. It's a full moon tomorrow, I think. Yes, tomorrow. When is asking you what you need to release? Tomorrow is a, you know, when you answer that question in your head, tomorrow is the best time because the full moon is about releasing things. So you can write down, I release this, I release that. And, you know, leave it to the moon, kind of like burn the paper, discard of it and have it be a thing where you're releasing um, those bad negative energies from the past. Negative things from the past, feelings and emotions. And moving forward, no better time than tomorrow. Watch, um, I don't wanna explain the whole thing during the reading, but watch, you can watch like um, full moon videos on YouTube where they explain how to release the negativity and stuff using the full moon. So there's that. Um, let me see what else. What else do we have for Libra? Take action. Listen to your intuition. Compromise. And if you believe. So it's like listen to your intuition and shut out the outside noise. Okay. Only you know your answers here. It's time to take action and also believing in a more positive outcome. This person wants to do nothing but start all over, start fresh and make it work this time. So it's like, just think positive if, if you actually do want this relationship. Okay. Um, let me clarify this card here. It's time to disconnect from the world. The deck is upside down. <laughs> It's time to disconnect from the world. Why is this card here? You see, there's a chariot. That they, I feel like they want to they wanna take you somewhere. Yep, yeah, they want to travel. Some of you may be going away on a vacation. Some of you, not all of you. Maybe they just, they just want to take you away. I feel like that. Especially with honeymoon, enjoying the, the bliss of holiday time. They want to like get away with you. Or just take you away from all the people who are getting involved. Why is honeymoon here? Let's clarify this whole situation. Um, could be dealing with an Aquarius. But honeymoon, honeymoon. And there's that card again, wanting to like get along and make things right. Work together. They want to work together on this relationship. Um Maybe there was a third party situation in the past that you're trying to move on from or forgive. Maybe it's time to release that if you do want to move forward with your person. But um, we have Aquarius energy. We have this whole rebirth. I feel like they just want to restart the whole relationship. You know, they want to start over. They definitely have some mental conflicts going on. They're trying to gain control of their feelings and they're also waiting for, you know, improvement. But I feel like they want to take the leap and just go. There's going to be travel involved for some of you, for sure. It could be a road trip. It could be a cruise. It could be going abroad. A resort, a hotel, something for some of you. It could be a treat for you as well. Like they want to do something nice as a way of making it up to you. It could be something like that. But I feel like they just want to steal you away so that they can have one-on-one -on -one communication with you and you guys could work things out as the two and only two people in the relationship. That's the vibe they're giving me. They don't want other people involved, okay? They don't want the mom involved, the mother's-in-laws, the, you know, everyone else. 
but yeah. So we have Aquarius energy, we have Cancer energy, Aries, Gemini. We had pretty much everything here. But the question is, what do you want to release? Okay, if you really want to move on from the past and be with this person, good thing to do is use the moon energy to release the negativity of the past. It works, okay? It works. I tried it. I tried it. <laughs> so, that's what I have for you, Libra. They want they want to they want to work this out, but they want to do it just you and them. So, cancel out all the people and release what you need to release. Listen to your intuition, that's the most important thing. Don't listen to me or anyone or even them. Just do what you feel is right, what your higher self is telling you to do. Um, and you should be fine. But at least your person wants to work things out, okay? And then we have higher level of commitment, engagement. Maybe they're taking you away to propose. Who knows? You know? <laughs> um but yeah stay positive release what you need to release and listen to your intuition see where that see where see where things go from there okay so if this didn't resonate with you or if you'd like to know um, what else is going on with your person you can check your other placements to see what's going on there sun moon venus rising leave a like if you enjoyed the reading subscribe if you're new to the channel and thank you so much for watching